Hey boys and girls, this is Kato here and I'm going to show you how to do your music assignment for this week, which is super exciting because it's about music and dance if you're in second grade at Palm or Admiral King. Now to get to the point that I'm at right now, which is on Seesaw and for you it'll say second grade at whatever school you're at, you need to make sure if you're at Admiral King, you just go into Seesaw like you normally do into your homeroom teacher and you will see your music assignment when you go to over here where the different folders are. Or if you're at Palm, you're gonna go in through Clever and you're going to click on Seesaw and then that'll take you to your class. So here I am and I need to make sure that I go over here to the light bulb that says activities. When I do, I'll have all of my music activities on the left side of the screen here. And the one that is on top is always for this week. Make sure you come back every week and check because there will be a new assignment almost every week. So here I go now to the green ad response. So I went light bulb, green button. I tap it or click it. And now I'm in my first slide and it says click the treble clef. Now just to be sure that I'm, I'm clicking things, I wanna go to the hand down here and I wanna click it once so it turns blue. When I do that, I'm now ready to click on the treble clef and the link is next to it. You'll see that it's a circle and it turns blue when I put my mouse on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now watch, up here, this is a new tab. We have our Seesaw tab and we have our Bitmoji Classroom tab. The first slide on, the first slide on Seesaw is always gonna link to your Bitmoji Classroom every single week. So this is going to become very familiar to you. So every slide in our Bitmoji classroom has a pattern. We always start on the top and listen to the voice instructions. And it says, click the circle to play. So you listen to them and then you do what they tell you to do. So we need to make sure for this one that we watch the video. And then when we're done, we go to the next slide. And we tap on this next button down here. So here we go, click the circle to play, do what it tells us to do with the video here, watch it, go to the next slide. Click the circle to play the voice instructions, pick a video that we want to play. They're embedded right in, so all I have to do is just click the one that I want to play. It's I watch it, and then I go to the next slide with the circle with the arrow down here. Circles are very important. I start with my next slide, same pattern, voice instructions up here. There will be a white circle that you will go ahead and hover under and click. And then you go ahead and watch the video, click, watch, go to the next slide. So we go to the next slide and we do the same thing. Voice instructions tell us to play a video, then we go to the next slide. We can also just press the space bar on our, on our uh, laptop to go to the next slide as well. So with this one, what we do is same thing. Voice instructions tell us here, then we choose one. So we choose a video to dance to, and then we go to the next slide. Just make sure that you don't do what I just did. Be careful about what you click. So go ahead and click the space bar or tap it. You have three choices. And now we're on the next slide. Play the instructions and you're going to click a story. The story that you click on, whichever one you pick, opens up in a new window, listen to it, and then when you're done, it will go back. You will go back to the tab. So here I go, going through the rest, do what it tells me to do, voice instructions, do the activity, go to the next slide. Now we go back to Seesaw by going back to the tab up here. So go back, look for the white square that says Seesaw, go back and then click the circle to turn it in. Because this week when we go to number two, it just tells us we need to turn in this assignment. So we just click up here, we click 